Hey guys, you are watching Design Sense. Today, we will redesign a landing page for Orc Vector Motorbikes. This video consists of two parts. In the first part, we will create a wireframe and prototype. And in the second part, my friend Tim Adirix will build this landing page in Webflow. Webflow is a powerful tool that gives you the superpower of designing, building, and launching a responsive website without the use of code. If you are interested in the Webflow part, please follow this channel. The link is given in the description below. This video is sponsored by LS Graphics. LS Graphics is a platform where you can download top-notch free and paid mockups, illustrations, and UI kits. Right here, so we are in XT. Let's create an arbo with the size of 1920 by 1080. That's the default size. Make the arbo black as we need for this project. This time we are using our own grids of 50 pixel of padding from each side. Just drag these guys from the side of the artboard like that. So first of all, we will place the logo on the top left. Here we have the Arc logo in SVG format. Make it white and resize it about that much. Now it's time to make the hamburger menu. For this, we will use the line tool. Make it about 80 pixel wide. Make the color white and the size about 3 pixel. Let's create another copy of this line by holding Shift and Alt key and drag it down. Then align it with guides. Now we need the hero image. I have already downloaded it from this website. You can download it from there too. The link will be in the description. So now we need to edit this a little bit in Photoshop. For removing this noise, we will use the brush tool with 0% of hardness. Now we will crop it with the help of pen tool. Now create another layer for it. I need some extra space around the bike because I want it to look like opacity mask. Now click on Max Selection and mask it to that shape. Now I want to make these which is blurred. Click on Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Make it 15 pixel of blur. Let's save it as PNG. Here we have the hero image ready. Reduce the size to 1400 pixel. Align it to the center. Now I will place the logo mark behind the bike. Make it unfill. Take a sample of this color by using eyedropper tool. The size of the stroke will be 5 pixel and reduce the opacity to 18%.
let's write the headline for the hero section for this i will copy the text from their official site the arc vector will be the hero heading copy and paste it here change the text color white and 90 pixel will be the font size change the font to high speed and align it to the center now for the subtitle copy the line the world most advanced motorcycle copy and paste it here change the font to sophia pro and reduce the size to 30 pixel align it to the center let's preview it for a second it looks pretty good now it's time to create expansion button to show the details of each part of the bike But first, we need to add that red color to swatches. Make it red. Create a copy by Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Let's place the plus icon inside the circle by using line tool like that. And align it to the center of the button. Group it by pressing Ctrl G. Now we will create copies of this button. Drag it to the relevant part by holding Alt key. Now we will post some additional details here. For this we need some icons. If you don't have this plugin just install it from Adobe Creative Cloud. Here we have the search bar where we can search for icons. These icons are already in SVG format. You can easily edit it. Follow the same procedure. Let's speed it up. Now I want to make explore button. Make the text vertical. And increase the size to 20 pixel.
let's make a custom arrow here One fifteen is fine for the height. Make it wide, and the size will be three pixel. For the arrowhead, we will use rectangle tool, but we need to delete one of its anchor point from it with the help of pen tool. Make this shape unfill white. size will be about 3 pixel resize it about that much we also need here some social media icons which we can download from the plugin that we did before Now we will place some graphic elements to make it more attractive. Make a rectangle of 165 width and 340 pixel height. Make it red. Double click on it and select these two anchor points then slide it to the left by pressing left arrow key make a copy of this shape by holding alt key and drag it down make it a little bit smaller than the first shape So now, here is the tricky part, where we will add some details to each button. Select text tool, number one, change the font to high speed, 36 pixel, make it red. So for the background of the paragraph, we need a rectangle. Make the stroke red and fill it black with 75% of opacity. For these small details, I have already collected some data from their official site. Just copy it and paste it here. Change the font to Sophia Pro. Group these elements together, create another copy of these two elements and reduce the opacity to 0% because I don't want these cards to overlap. Let's make the second one in the same way. Follow the same procedure for all of these, let's speed it up.
So guys, here is the important part where we will be prototyping this landing page. We will animate these buttons one by one. Just follow these simple steps. Open the prototype panel. Create another artboard. Drag it to the right by holding shift and alt key. Double click on the first button and connect it to the second artboard. Set the trigger on tape, auto animate, wind up and the duration will be 0 0.6 seconds. Remove all those buttons, just leave the first one and connect it back to the first artboard with the same interactions. Make it minus to show zooming out. And increase the size of the image to 2000 pixel. Then align it with this button to the same position. Now it's time to increase the opacity of these two elements. So why we had reduced the opacity before? Because we wanted to animate it in opacity from 0% to 100%. As you can see in the previous screen, when we press on that expansion button, it's animating exactly the way we want it. Let's repeat the same procedure for all of these buttons. So here is the final result. I am clicking on every expansion button and it is showing details for every part of the bike. Thanks for watching. Stick around.